I'm Joshua Merritt. I'm a junior at Bob Jones High School. This is my first year on the Patriot Racing Green Power team, and I'm an electrical engineer. At the beginning of a new season, we can project our annual costs through analysis of our previous years. Uh, this gives us the advantage of being able to put our annual costs into categories such as uh, tires and batteries, performance upgrades, garage materials, uh, logistics, uniforms, or something else along those lines. When it comes to buying new items, we can use a system called the Formal Purchase Order System. The Formal Purchase Order System is a list of items that we need. It also lists where to find them and about the approximate cost. This uh, helps us predict like how much we're going to be able to spend, uh, as well as just make sure we never buy the wrong stuff and waste money. My name is Jay Dickerson. I'm a junior this year, this is my third year on Patriot Racing, and I work as a mechanical engineer. To fund the season's projects, we have to raise money. One example of how we do this is by selling team apparel to the community. This helps raise some funds, however, the majority of our money comes from corporate partnerships. The ways that we reach out to potential partners is by emailing them, or going business to business, showing them who we are, what we stand for, and our tradition of excellence. At Patriot Racing, we treat our partnerships like two-way streets, in which we try to give back to the companies that have allowed us to do so much. An example of this is when we went to speak to Northrop Grumman. We showed them the cars, gave them a presentation, and showed them who we are and what we've been doing. This is important to us because it strengthens our relationships with our partners, and puts a face to the name of Patriot Racing. Another way we like to strengthen our partnerships is through public recognition. This includes logos on our car, our team banner, and social media shout outs. My name is Parks White. I'm in ninth grade and this is my first year on Patriot Racing and my third year involved in Green Power. I act as a mechanical engineer on the team. This year we have made several changes to our car. For example, we made a new nose out of corrugated plastic that we are hoping will reduce car weight and improve car aerodynamics. Additionally, we've installed a new motor in the car. This was done to boost car efficiency and speed. Finally, we have speed sensors in the car now that give us accurate race data from races. We use this data to improve our car in the future. My name is Curtis D'Amico. I'm a senior at Bob Jones, and this is my second year on Patriot Racing. My big roles on the team include presentation lead as well as race manager. At Patriot Racing, before we make any major design changes, we like to do a formal design review in which the new design is presented before the team um, and its pros and cons are weighed and then it's either approved or denied. If the idea is approved, then we go ahead and implement it on the car. If it's denied, however, we either look for ways to improve it or we completely shut it down. One of the design changes we're looking into this season is our removable hood. Right now, the way it's attached is currently very hard to take off and put back on. Uh, so we're considering new ways to attach and remove our hood. The second system we're looking at revising is our telemetry system. We are constantly updating and improving our telemetry code and our telemetry electronics. Uh, through this, it allows us to get better data from the car um, so that we can make better choices on race day. The third component we're looking at redoing this season is our steering wheel. Currently, we're using last year's steering wheel. However, right now we're in the process of 3D modeling a new one in Solid Edge that we'll eventually 3D print and implement into the car. Uh, our hopes for the new steering wheel is that it will increase the drivability of our car as well as decrease the pit times by allowing drivers to get in and out of the car more easily. Besides design changes, we're also always looking for ways to boost our performance. And one of the ways we've found to boost our performance comes in the form of driver training. Uh, and the form that takes is just putting the drivers in the car before a race to help them feel a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more natural when it's race day. This helps them perform better under pressure, as well as giving them an edge above the competition. The second kind of people we train are our pit crew. Uh, by having a well-trained pit crew, this helps us get driver changes done quickly so that we can get back on the track as soon as possible. Another way we boost our performance at Patriot Racing comes from our data analysis. At every race, we take detailed information from our uh, car's telemetry system that we then apply in future races to help us get a perfectly tuned car. Um, and we found that having a tuned car can make the difference between winning and losing the race.